Ciao, another day, another Diddy takedown. Let's get into it, girl. Let's talk about it. See, nah, because if you really rock with my content, consider joining a bandit gang for real, for real. I mean, I'm now offering channel memberships here on YouTube now to make it easier for all of y'all to join in on the fun. Now, this is going to grant you access to early uploads, extended videos, and exclusive content like deep dives, story times, studio sessions, live streams, cooking videos, all that and more, as well as major discounts on personal readings and whatnot. Just click the join button next to the subscribe button and choose a tier of your liking. Now, I'm still offering Patreon as an alternate way of supporting, but it's really your choice. I mean, I'm just a big girl trying to make it in this big world you know so if you got the coin then baby spend it okay and if not i mean i guess that's cool too <laughs> we still gonna make it do what it do with the regular youtube content but just know you're missing out girl now don't say i ain't told you so i want people to have fun let's kick back let's get into a little tea let's not get too crazy but let's enjoy the sip but let's get to the chi chi the kiki the the internet bull <laughs> What's going on, y'all? It's Scott Santana, aka Cha 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 Chi Chi, and we are back for another Let's Talk About It. More like Let's Take Diddy Down, okay? More like Let's Take Diddy Down, because listen, that's exactly what we're here to discuss, sure. Y'all already know Diddy is in the news because he's a dirty dog, okay? He's a dirty dog, and it's about time for his whole empire to come crashing down. And he's not going to be the only one. I've been telling y'all for, for the longest time, it's more than just Diddy Child. Diddy, Ellen, Tyler Perry, Oprah, Chow, the list goes on and on. And speaking of list, <laughs> wait till that Epstein list drop. But that's that's another video for another hour, child. Let's go ahead and get into this Diddy conversation, girl. So, Cassie's friend, longtime friend, and songwriter Tiffany Red says Diddy wouldn't give Cassie access to the songs she wrote unless Cassie participated in freak offs. Says that she's disgusted. He raped her to uh raped her friend to her music. Oh, child, this about to be, this about to be, ooh. I understand what it's like to be traumatized by somebody famous and rich, because you can't get away from them. Tiffany Red has written for the likes of Zendaya, Jason Derulo, and Jennifer Hudson. In 2015, she became friends with Cassie while writing songs for her album. At that point, Cassie and Diddy had been together for nearly eight years. In a lawsuit Cassie filed last month, she detailed the abuse she says Diddy committed, including <laughs> physical assault. Red says although she did not know about the alleged physical assault while working with Cassie, she did witness verbal abuse on more than one occasion, one of which took place during Cassie's 29th birthday in 2015. Red says Diddy showed up at karaoke, where Cassie and a group of friends were celebrating. So he had her back into the corner and he was like cussing her out with his hand in his, in her face. Later that night, Red, who was staying at Cassie's home, says she awoke to screaming. Oh, he's standing in the like living room area and she's there. And he was like emotional singing. There you are. And I just was like, oh, he's talking to me. And I remember like, I don't know if you know his, his what his voice sounds like, but like. I felt like I was in the presence of his monster inside. And I remember like looking in his eyes and I said to him, what did y'all do? Cause I could see that she was like really sedated. That was the first time I ever seen her like high before. And then he says, tell your girl she wants some birthday. And we were like, well, I mean, he's saying this to me and I'm like, well, she doesn't have to have sex with you if she doesn't want to. He was upset. Like, you know, I guess that she, didn't want to do with him whatever she whatever he wanted i don't know i don't feel like i could advocate for myself in that moment like i realized like oh this guy is dangerous red says it was only a few months ago that cassie told her what was really going on that night in 2015 that it all stemmed from the music executive wanting her to take part in what he called a freak off against her will what did cassie tell you about these freak offs you know that he would hire these like sex workers and like they would have you know sex with her or whatever and 
he would watch and tell them what to do. In her lawsuit, Cassie alleges she was forced to participate in freak-offs throughout her relationship with Diddy. Red learning recently one horrific detail from Cassie. She told me the only time he was willing to do anything or work on her music, go through any um, plans, any of that, was when she had a freak off. So all of our music, all my work, to find out that like I spent all these years writing these songs for him to, to rape my friend to, like is just disgusting. In the lawsuit, Cassie detailed the physical abuse she says Diddy committed, including an instance where she was put in a hotel room for days to heal. Red says Cassie recently told her about Diddy giving her a black eye before the premiere of her 2016 film, The Perfect Match. <laughs> I remember one time her telling me that I think it might have been the perfect match that, that movie that she was in. And she told me that she had a black eye under her makeup. Do you believe Diddy is a dangerous person? Yes. I, do. I don't think people understand what it's like to be. Listen, take him down. Take him down. This is one of the few times where I'm actually speechless and this is really nothing to say, nothing to really give commentary on. A shout out to the angels though, because y'all see on the side 4, 45, 45, and 21, 21. Um, we can go through the comments though. Now, Tiffany Red, I, <laughs> listen, anytime I see videos of people, I'm studying body language, I'm studying everything, even from the way it's shot to the color blocking to and it's I will say that this right here that we just watched was very produced, very produced, but I 100% believe Tiffany. I 100% believe Cass Cassie. Diddy's a monster. Everybody knows it. Like, everybody knows it. Like, it's not a secret. Everybody freaking knows it, even before it came out. And Tiffany Red is somebody who I got introduced to a couple of months ago, actually. I watched the See the Thing Is podcast, and she was a guest on there, and she was talking that real shit. So if you don't know who Tiffany Red is, you need to look her up. She is a songwriter who's, you know, written a bunch of hit songs for your faves. And basically, she's one of the people that isn't afraid to speak out and, like, hold it down for, like, other people to, you know, get their blessings and, and to make more money. Like, she has, like, this whole campaign that she's doing because y'all know that songwriters don't really get paid anything, and if anything, they get paid last out of everybody and they're the ones that's really responsible for the whole fucking point of the goddamn song and so she's like been really vocal about that really like an advocate for that and just standing up for people in general so for anybody that feels like oh who is this random girl is she lying da, da, da. like no this is literally her thing this is her brand like she speaks out she's an advocate for mistreatment so and I'm not surprised that she's speaking out. I'm surprised that they were friends. I didn't know that. But, like, I'm not surprised that she's speaking out. And, again, I believe that she's telling the truth. Um, let's go to the comments. Cassie signed that NDA, so her friend holding her down. To this woman's defense, she was referenced in that 35-page document, so she has a right to say something if she wants. Yeah, I feel like anybody that was mentioned in the document has a right to speak up. And then, hell, even if they wasn't mentioned, they got a right to speak up, too. Like, I mean, it is what it is. It is what it is. Y'all either want Diddy up out of here or you don't. And if you don't, that means you support pedophiles and rapists. So... Because that's the other shoe that needs to drop. That's the other shoe that needs to drop. And I'm I'm going to speak on that a little bit more in the next video that I'm going to do involving T.D. Jakes. Because y'all so focused on, you know, what's going on with Cassie and, you know, him potentially being with other men. Girl, all of this is, listen, at the end of the day, I want Cassie to get her justice. How does she see fit? Apparently, Cassie done handed off like a phone, um, a burner phone. And if you watch Sloan Bella, you know what we're referring to. It's a, a burner phone that Kim Porter had with a whole bunch of evidence and whatnot. So I don't feel like Cassie's part is done in this whole Diddy thing. Like the money was just like the start of it. But I feel like there's so many more dominoes that's about to fall and come out. But I'm ready to fast forward past this part. Okay, Cassie done got her money. We already know that Cassie was abused. Okay, like how much longer can we keep talking about that? Like, let's get to the other reasons why Diddy needs to be taken now. And I know that might sound a little insensitive. That's fine. But I'm saying it for a reason, because we know that he's a monster. We know that he abuses women. We know that he done hard art this girl multiple times. We know that he's, you know, been with men, quote unquote, allegedly. But like, I want to hurry up and get to Justin Bieber. Let's hurry up and get to Justin Bieber. OK, like, let's let's get to that part. Like, let's get to, you know, the kids that be sacrificed within the industry. Like, let's get to some of the real because Diddy is just really a sacrificial lamp for a lot of what's really going on in the industry that a lot of people don't know about, that the main 
society, I guess, doesn't necessarily know about. But there are elites and powerful people and what they do. Like, it's not a coincidence that there's so many kids that go missing. And it's not a coincidence that, you know, within the last couple of years, you know, you've had different sites like Wayfair and Walmart that had, you know, suspiciously priced items on their sites that turned out to be children, allegedly, quote unquote, because it was never necessarily confirmed. But like, come on now, anybody that's gifted or anybody with a fucking common brain that's into it would have known it's better. Like it, all of this shit ties in together. And that's what I'm ready to get to. Like, again, this is no shade to Cassie. She has every right to tell her story. I want her to keep telling her story, get her justice, get her peace, do whatever she feel like she needs to do. Um, I'm glad that she allegedly gave in, you know, the burner phone that belonged to Kim Porter. I'm glad for all of that. Just me personally, I'm ready to stop focusing on this part of the story and let's keep going. Okay, he's a monster, but like, let's detail all all, all how he's a monster. Because the more that we focus on just this one part, it's so much other chaos that we're ignoring and that we need to get to. Because once we get to that, that opens the door for people to realize, oh, this is a real thing. And question, okay, well, exactly how many people are involved in this, right? That's why I'm glad about the T.D. Jake shit, because with T.D. Jake style being involved, that brings up the sex parties. And when you bring up the sex parties, now it's like, oh, shit, now we need to look at every sex party, every white party that this man had who was there. Let's check the guest list, especially where all of this happening around the time of the Epstein list coming out. Yeah, all of this is, is this is, this is, it's playing, but not playing. And I'll, I'll tell y'all more about that later. So, yeah, definitely let me know, you know, down in the comment box below, you know, what y'all thought about all of that. Um, do I want to give y'all the list? Because it was an official article that came out from people, but it was like a couple of weeks ago. But, yeah, it was just explaining, you know, how Cassie had named Tiffany Red, you know, in a lawsuit or whatever. And, um... Tiffany had came out standing in solidarity with Cassie. And basically she said, I fit for my safety as her suit alludes to me, although not by name. Well, bitch, if it didn't. <laughs> okay. Now, cause bitch, if, if, mm, mm, if the damn lawsuit didn't have your goddamn name in it, why would you come out and say, yeah, yeah, that was me. That's me. Cassie was referring to me. Yeah. I'm the bitch that she didn't name. Like, why would you come out and do that girl? But she says, I hope that by revealing my identity to the public, that will afford me some measure of protection. Honestly and truly, I don't think anything's going to happen to Cassie, Tiffany Red, anybody involved. I don't. And I, I'm going to tell you why. And again, we're going we're gonna to dive deeper in, within the future videos as more things come out or whatever. Because I, listen, <coughs> I got to protect my mom and immunity or whatever the hell you call it. Not that I'm anybody that motherfuckers need to worry about. But you know, child, you just never know with this type of shit. But what I will say is that when it comes to these cases, as far as with Diddy, I don't believe anything is going to happen to anybody because, again, he's a sacrificial lamb, right? And so things happening, more things happening is just going to bring more attention to him and just place more attention on, okay, well, what happened to Tupac? What happened to Biggie? What happened to Kim Porter, right? So I don't anything, I, I doubt anything suspicious is going to happen. And plus, too, I do feel like there are people that are above Diddy and around Diddy and just like Diddy that want him to go down. They need him to go down, right? Before, I do believe that he's being silenced, but at the same time, I do believe that they want him to go down and need him to go down so that it kind of, we can stop the drain, right? Think of it like a, like a, like a, like a sink that just keeps flooding or like a, no, think of it like a tub of water. Think of it like a tub of water. Like, there's something within a tub that you need to get out of the tub that you want to go down and drain, but you don't want all the water to go down the drain and everything else within the tub to go, go down, right? So it's just like, okay, let's open up the drain just a little bit just to get, you know, the bad parts out that we don't want. Let that go down. But then we got to hurry up and close that drain before everything else that's within this tub gets, you know, gets out of the tub and goes down the drain. I feel like that's exactly what we're witnessing right now when it comes to, chat. when it comes to Diddy. I feel like, again, there are people around him. There are people higher up to him. There are people in control of his money and control of his brand and control of his power. I don't feel like he has as much power and as much money and as much um, of an impact as y'all think he does. I think that it's all smoke and mirrors. I've been saying it the last couple of videos. Hollywood is very much a show within a show. I feel like Diddy, Diddy um, 
while at one point he was pulling strings, I feel like right now, because he's a sacrificial lamb, he is a puppet in this situation. And I feel like it is within Hollywood's best interest to get Diddy to fuck up out of here. Will that mean jail? I don't think so necessarily. I don't know. But I do think it's within Hollywood's best interest to get Diddy to fuck up out of here before people start going down a deep dive and a rabbit hole of everybody else that he's aligned to or that's like him, if that makes sense. I hope y'all understand what I'm trying to say, right? It's like, again, let's get what we don't want in the tub down the drain, but then hurry up and close it before everything else goes down, right? Like, let, let's 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 make Diddy basically be the fall guy. Diddy is the fall guy, but he's not the only one. So, you know, do I think other people going to start disappearing and go missing and whatnot? I, I highly doubt it only because it's just like, the more people that speak up against Diddy, that actually benefits the people that want him to go down. So that way they can protect their anonymity, uh, whatever the hell you call it. They, they can protect themselves. Hopefully I understand what the hell I'm trying to say. But yeah, definitely let me know what y'all thought about all of this down in the comment box below. Um, yeah, just another update. Like I said, I got another one coming. And we're just going to keep updating. I mean, the more that come out. All right, because this ass needs to go to go to hell. Okay, go to hell. I love each and every one of y'all. Allegedly in AC audio, how make sure that y'all like the video and y'all comment below with y'all thoughts as if I give a fuck. And definitely make sure you stream my music as if you give a fuck. Bye. See you in the next one. I'm bad. I'm pretty. I'm so ditty. Thick ass shape in these sick ass city. Pussy on fire because she stay giving kitty. Bring the whole town and every time I'm in your city. I'm the bitch that you want to be proud. See, I'm the bitch. I'm the one with the crown. And I'm the bitch bringing cake by the pound. Have me on my knees every day. Blige, bitch, I'm going down. Deadly ass top dope game is a killer. Stomach is available to be a babysitter. No need to be shy. Put the thing up in it. Nothing wrong with a late night dinner. Nigga. <laughs> Stop, give me 20 fucking skittles Burn the shit up, I don't even want to